Yes, mate, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about exactly how much money I made on my first ever month of selling via Amazon FBA. So I'm gonna be taking a look at how many units I actually sold in my first ever month, what Amazon charged me for fees in selling on Amazon, the amount I actually spent on those products as well, and at the end showing you exactly how much profit I made in my first ever month of selling via Amazon FBA. So Amazon FBA, I am not experienced in at all, and I've been using a very, very smart tool which has helped me find these deals, make sure that these deals are actually worth investing in and getting them sent to Amazon. And that tool is profit tool. There is a link in the description if you want to use that. Use the discount code DEAN15 and you'll get 15% off every single month. So Profitall offer two different types of products. The first one is their Profitall Scanner, which is an app. You can also get the Chrome extension. And what that does is if you find a product, you can put in the product's ASIN number and it will give you loads of information, such as how many estimated sales that it's had in the last 30 days. It will give you your return on investment, your break even position or the figure that you'll need in order to break even on that product. And also includes the price graph history of that product. So you can see exactly what the price has been doing over the last few months. And at the bottom, it'll give you a three different outcomes, a poor buy, a fair buy, and a good buy. So that is the first thing. It's a very helpful piece of software. I've got it on my phone, so if I see something while I'm out shopping, I'll just scan it and I can actually see all the information there. The second thing they do is they offer a deal sheet. Now the deal sheet is updated twice a week. This has hundreds of different potential products that you can sell on Amazon. So if you have no idea what products will actually sell on Amazon, where, where to even find them, or if you just haven't got the time to search online at random different products, there's a deal sheet, Excel sheet, and it'll have hundreds of different products on there, which you can go check out yourself and see whether you wanna start selling them via Amazon FBA. So the deal sheet is what we have been using for our first ever month. I'd say probably about half the products that we sold were actually found via the deal sheet. So it has been very, very helpful, especially if you're starting off and you have no idea what products to buy it does give you a really good indication. So link in the description, Dean15, if you want a discount, but let's get into the figures. So for September 2021, our first ever month of selling via Amazon FBA, we sold 72 units and they came to a total sales amount of £1,029.09. So in our first ever month, we made over £1,000 worth of sales. Now, if you look at the sales order graph, what you can see is we were very, very poor in a way, and it's a learning curve, of actually getting stock sent into Amazon. So we sent a load of stock into Amazon, we didn't know how it would do, and it actually sold out a lot quicker than we were expecting. And what you can see is there's three spikes on this graph. You can see at the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, and the end of the month, that's when we were actually sent stock in. And the stock that we sent in sold so quickly that we didn't actually have another order pre prepped and ready to actually send to Amazon. So you can see these spikes where we sent stock in, it sold, and then we didn't have any more stock left. So we had to order some in, we sent it in, it sold too quickly again, if you can actually sell stock too quickly, it's a good thing, but we were just not prepared. Our, our sort of shipping process and getting stock in and sent out was a bit all over the place because we just weren't expecting the stock to sell so quickly. And as you can see, there's three or four times where we actually hit a hundred pounds worth of sales in a day. Our highest was around 130 pounds in sales, and that was around the 13th of September. So middle of the month, we had a really, really good day. So in that first month, we made just over a thousand pounds worth of sales. Now, obviously Amazon charge you a fee for actually selling on their platform, obviously storage fees and stuff like that. That's what they charge you. And they take it out of the sale amount. So say you sell a product for 20 pounds, Amazon will then take out their fee, which could range depending on how long the product's been there, the size of the product, stuff like that. But say it's like five pound. So you sell it for 20, Amazon will take their five pound and then they'll transfer 15 pound into your account. So whatever's left over. So in terms of the products that we sold, so we sold just over a thousand pounds worth of products. Amazon actually gave us 635 pound back from that thousand pounds. 635 pound is what Amazon transferred into our account. Now, if you minus the actual purchasing of the products that we sold, Minus our um, memberships or our subscriptions to, to Profitor and to Amazon FBA, we actually made a profit after all that, all expenses of £112 for the month. So for our first ever month of selling via Amazon FBA to make over a hundred pound profit, to make over a thousand pounds worth of sales, I'm very, very happy with. We went for products that only had around a, a 20, 25% return on investment. That would be probably the minimum that I'd look for around 20, 25%. If you can get 30%, 50%, 
Some products go over 100% return on investment because you can find them. I found one literally yesterday which had 157% return on investment, so I'm trying to order that product in. But I think if you can stay above 25% return on investment, as long as it's got high sales and you can actually sell like we have in our first month, then you should be able to make profit in this. It's all about finding those deals. The deal sheet does help massively. But yeah, that was just our first ever month of selling via Amazon FBA. So just over £100 profit, which we're happy with. And hopefully we can just scale it, get that snowball effect and hopefully grow the profit every single month. So let me know in the comments down below if you've started Amazon FBA, how you're getting on. It's really interesting to see. As part of Profitable as well, they have a Discord community and people post their results on there as well. So it's really cool to see. A lot of people are making some serious money. A lot of people are starting out as well and it's all it's really good to sort of support each other and see how everyone else is doing. So if you're interested, use the link in the description. Give it a go if you want to. Obviously, if you're not interested, don't worry about it. Skip this video. Probably a bit late because I put it at the end. But anyway, I appreciate the support. Thank you very much for watching. If you are new, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe.